pretty much one of those days where you are bored. I'm talking about super bored. There's nothing to do with it. Or it could be I'm just being lazy and don't want to do nothing. But it is what it is. But <clears throat> what I'm going to be talking to you all about today well, this evening, I'll tell you, buddy, it's a noisy road at times. But anyway, what I'm gonna be talking to y'all about today is diets and how unnecessary they are. If you, in order, it's pretty easy to slim your body down if you have the uh, mental aptitude for that. And the reason I say mental aptitude because it's basically you using your mind to control your body. And if you are not able to take focus of your mind, then there's no way possible for you to be able to maintain maintain any kind of diet it's just it's just impossible it's just impossible your mind has to be focused in order for you to maintain a diet that is designed to allow you to lose weight rapidly because it eventually is going to make your body suffer and most people don't want to suffer. They don't want to go through what it takes in order to lose the extra fat and stuff that they have to lose in order to slim back. You know, you have some they are willing to, for a short period of time, normally anyway, they'll do the diet part, but they won't do the exercise part. But what most people don't understand is that the exercise and the diet works hand in hand. If you do one without the other one, then you're pretty much gonna end it back up in the same spot. For instance, if you take a diet and you use that diet to slim down, if you had a significant amount of body fat, what you're gonna end up with is a lot of loose skin because you're gonna lose weight so rapidly that the skin is not gonna have time to tighten up again. So that's how come you see people who have those uh, tummy tucks or whatever they call them. They normally end up with uh, a lot of loose skin because of that. So that's why I tell you, you're not able to do one without the other. Now, if you were to incorporate exercise with the diet, then you won't have to diet so drastically to lose weight at too rapid of a pace. And it's kind of complicated when you really, when you really think about it. The way you have to, to do things is that without the exercise you're not able to build the muscle that you need in order to keep the weight off. Muscle helps burn fat. So if you're exercising, then you don't really have to die as hard, which you're not suffering as much. If you don't exercise and you just use the diet and you, and you lose the weight at a rapid rate, then what you end up with, like I said, is that loose skin. And if you use the exercise without controlling the amount of calories that you take in, then you have to really increase the amount of exercise that you do to burn off all those extra calories that you're not um, burning off. So it's like I said, all of it work hand in hand. And you can't do one without the other. One. And in order to get your body to 
low enough body fat, you have to have the discipline to clean up your entire diet for a extended period of time. If you don't have the mental focus and the mental toughness to stay on the diet, then you're just pretty much gonna be wasting your time. So, one with that, the other one is nothing. You're gonna always be back where you start from. And what I suggest is lifestyle change. Basically, what I mean about lifestyle change is that if you work out on a consistent basis and you moderate the amount of food that you take in, not necessarily certain foods, because when you're on those heavy diets, you know, you're cutting out sugars, you're cutting out fats, you're cutting out all this other stuff, which will cause you to lose weight at a rapid rate but we're not talking about that because that's only temporary we're talking about something that will allow you to maintain a healthy body weight and stay in decent physical condition forever and that's a lifestyle change and that's eating in moderation not necessarily really governing what you eat you just have to eat in moderation instead of eating a whole bag of cookies you know you eat four cookies Stuff like that. Not saying that cookies are bad because none of the food that you eat is actually bad for you. It's the quantity of the things that you eat is bad for you. You can eat a whole lot of diet food in and, and get fat. You know, <laughs> it's just overeating. So the main thing is if you want to maintain your, a certain body weight, maintain a certain weight of physical conditioning, then you have to make a lifestyle change. You know, then you won't have to fight with your brain so hard to stay on these uh, drastic diets that you have to in order to keep your body weight down. But that's my two cents about the whole thing. Take it for what it's worth. Also, hit that thumbs up button also the subscribe button and again thanks for watching